You're listening to the BBM Global Network with 25 years in broadcast audio and video production. Our passionate team creates content and marketing for the world of Internet talk radio. If you've got a passion, come join us at BBMGlobalNetwork.com. The BBM Global Network. Your voice is now heard. Evolve Wellness with your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. Life Mastery Consultant Dr. Herrings will offer alternative wellness tools and perspectives that, when willing, can allow the challenges we face to become the mechanism that helps us grow. Evolve Wellness offers hope, empowerment, inspiration, and a strong sense of community. So please welcome the host of Evolve Wellness, Dr. Nikki Herrings. Welcome. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And today I have the honor and privilege of introducing you to Paramdeal Kar. She is a certified Kundalini yoga and meditation teacher, as taught by Yogi Bhajan, and is a registered yoga teacher through Yoga Alliance and the International Kundalini Yoga Teachers Association and the Kundalini Research Institute. Param Deal is also a certified Kundalini yoga teacher in conscious pregnancy and yoga for children with autism, anxiety, PTSD, and depression through Yoga Alliance. After working many years in the international corporate world in public relations and business development for self-development and spiritual programs in Hong Kong, Asia Pacific, and North America, Param Deal knew she had learned a plethora of valuable wisdoms that could help bring people deep healing and home within their own heart and soul. She has met and worked with spiritual leaders from around the world from whom she took powerful courses that provided deep healing and profound transformation within herself, expanding her knowledge and experiences to provide positive shifts for her students. She is answering to the call of making a difference in her community through producing conscious awareness events and teaching kundalini yoga and meditation classes. Her her purpose is to compassionately contribute to the love and healing the world is in great need of. And it's, I'm so grateful you're here. Thank you so much for being here, Param Dayal. Thank you. I'm so blessed and grateful to be on your show. Yeah, I am just... It was such an honor and a privilege to meet you a few years ago. It just seemed like the stars aligned and um, it was just such, you just carry such light with you. Like you light up the room, whether we're inside or outside. And I, I uh, love yeah. learning little, yeah. And I love learning little bits and pieces about you, what you share. And it's mostly what I've discovered on social media. And so I would really, really love to hear about your journey into kundalini yoga and i know that you spent a couple, like 20 years modeling if i recall and the practice is really what helped you recognize your own true inner beauty can you share with us more about that sure absolutely uh, i i don't, didn't model for 20 years it was kind of like on and off for maybe like 10 10 years 10 15, maybe 15 years but um, in modeling, you're, you learn or you know that your face is your business card, your appearance is your business card. And I kind of did it because I was curious to see it. You know, I felt so ugly and I felt I had really low self-esteem and low self-worth. So it's kind of like me just trying it out to see if anyone would hire me. And people would hire me and I was always shocked. So that was me trying to feel good from the outside in. It was me trying to feel 
worthy and feel beautiful from the outside in. And my journey and the spiritual journey that I've uncovered and been passionately unfolding and learning is that really beauty is within. And Pundalini Yoga, I mean, I did many kind of schools of healing and Pundalini Yoga really gave me the experience of my knowledge. And I read many books about healing and love and peace and knowing the information is what really beautiful and really healing and wonderful. You can really heal from books. But for me personally, the experience of going within through Kundalini yoga and connecting to a self-worth has just been amazing. And even though I, I modeled and I was an international makeup artist also for a long time, I, don't, I rarely wear makeup because now it's, it's so, I've healed so much that I actually feel beautiful without it. And I don't, I feel uncomfortable when I'm wearing makeup. I just, it feels very foreign to me now. So it's just been a real, you know, a journey inward. And when you go within and you, you connect to self love and compassion within all those outside things that normally fill us up or can fill us up, they kind of fade away and you just, you feel a balance and you, go within to connect to anything that you need that you're feeling disconnected from or, or feeling uncomfortable or feeling, you know, lack of um, confidence or you're feeling stressed out. It's, there's resources within us that will always carry us through and there's profound love and profound. When we connect to that, that beauty, you just shine it from the inside out. I love that. And it, you definitely emanate that just in your presence. And I think the self-worth thing, I, I hear about it from other people a lot. And it's certainly something that I struggled with because I thought it was something I had to do in order to have worth that I had to accomplish a certain X number of things. That was sort of how I related to it. And so there was sort of this shedding away of, of that belief system in order for me to understand that innately we all are worthy. We all have self-worth. Yes, absolutely. And I, I share this in my classes a lot that, you know, we're, we're, born already perfect and beautiful we're all beautiful and we go through life and we might have a parent that puts us down or we start to question ourselves and then we are sometimes in a society that you know we focus on the like the magazines or everywhere and they the movies and it's all about you kind of like feeding us from the outside in and when people i know and my mother and my her sisters will feel sad they run to the hairdresser to feel better and it, that's kind of like we something that we've learned oftentimes in society to to feel self-worth to achieve to get good grades or to get the part in the play or to you know some you know win the soccer match we get that kind of gratification that fills us it kind of fills that validation that we need but it doesn't really you know give that self-worth and that self-worth is really, you know, those things, they help, they boost your confidence, but to really feel good about yourself. It's an, it's an inner work, inner journey. And it's not an, always an easy one, but once you go within it, it's just, it's beautiful. And that's why I always revert back to Kundalini yoga. And I've heard so many stories and so many stories, even from students that, um, and, and, and my former and my classmates, people that I've done Kundalini with, with and other teachers, Kundalini yoga teachers, there's just something that when you do this work, it just clicks. And it's just, you're just doing breath work and you're doing, you're moving, but you're moving the stuckness and the things that keep us blocked and stuck. And um, so it's a, it's a power, it's very, very powerful and once you start to feel good about yourself, everything just starts to flow from there. Other things that kind of kept us stuck just start to unfold and open. We just start to expand. Yeah, you start to expand and, and heal. I love it. 
Yeah, and I we're going to dive more into that. So everyone, please stick around and we'll talk about really what kundalini is and what really sets it apart. And I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. You're listening to Evolve Wellness and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll be right back. Attorney Renee Marie Smith is changing the way we sell real estate. She wrote a series of books called My Short Sale Guru Guides for all real estate practitioners. Whether you're a homeowner wanting to understand the process, an agent who has been handling Handling short sales for years, or an industry analyst wanting to know how short sales impact your business, Renee uses her vast real estate experience to take a comprehensive look at the recent market phenomena while relaying it in an easy to understand format. Through her company, Smith Title Services, Renee has counseled thousands of short sale participants and processed in excess of a thousand short sales. Her knowledge is transformational for real estate professionals and laymen alike, and her live presentations provide people the opportunity to ask specific questions about their issues. Buy her books and schedule her to speak at your next event. Visit www.smithtitleservices.com or call 305-705-3428 or email her at renee at smithtitleservices.com. Isn't it time to sell your property today? Learn the My Short Sale Guru way. If you seek a courageous advocate, prepare to champion your rights with consumer service agencies that support aging populations. Carol Ann Hamilton is the one for you. Carol Ann is an elder care coach author and speaker with a quarter million hours lived experience successfully supporting unculpable aging parents as a result of a challenging journey carol ann revolutionizes how stressed out caregivers restore serenity to their worlds she also brings over 25 years of change management expertise in fortune 500 settings to catalyze urgent transformation within the elder care industry carol ann is a popular speaker at conferences across north america America. She has appeared via TV, radio, and print globally. Now you can tune in weekly to get a dose of her inspiration, plus down-to-earth advice to cope with even the most difficult aging parents. Listen Wednesdays at 9 a.m. Eastern on Bold Brave Media and Tune In Radio. Welcome back. I'm Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and Tune In Radio. And I'm really thrilled to be here with our guest today, Parambe Alkar, and she's this wonderful being and a Kundalini yoga instructor. And I'm, I would love for you to share with us what distinguishes Kundalini yoga from other varieties and what are some of the benefits of it? Um, wow, that's it's just so many benefits. And um, what's different about it is, you know, there's lots of students that will come to to my classes that have been doing other yogas for for many years and they'll they always say the same thing like wow i didn't know that there was another level of spirituality i didn't know that there was this depth within me and um all yoga is so beneficial so healing but kundalini yoga is so different kundalini yoga is so different that sometimes people who have who have been coming to a yoga, regular yoga classes like Hatha is probably the most well-known yoga in the world is um, they'll come and they think it's just too strange when they, they don't come back or maybe they'll come back a year or two later and, go, and they're ready for it. But it's, it's so different because we really focus on uh, Kundalini yoga focus, focuses a lot on pranayam breath work and breath is, it's like foundational to wellness, to healing your, your metabolism, integration of relaxation and calm to connecting to your spirit. So it's um, it's a very powerful inner journey. We also do mantras and meditations. And the meditations really help to kind of quiet down that monkey mind, that um, kind of that mind that's constantly going, going, going. And it, it's, um, it kind of changes that negative self-talk something that Kundalini Yoga does it's really powerful is it you know there's something called neuroplasticity where it's the brain the brain's natural ability to reboot itself and Kundalini Yoga has so many mudras as hand positions and meditations that you're chanting but you're also moving your hands in specific ways and we're stimulating nerves in the brain and we're the functional brain and the you know the um brainstem gets stimulated and the vagus nerve 
get stimulated. And so it actually creates change. And people who are more maybe have had depression for many years or anxiety or PTSD will actually feel different. And you're, you're not, you're just changing from the inside out. That's why you'll see so many psychiatrists. If you Google psychiatrists, Kundalini Yoga teachers who are psychologists and social workers, they gravitate to this work. They love it because deep, deep healing can occur from within. So we do you know, breath work, meditations, and it just, um, that's a little bit different from just like the traditional hatha vinyasa. They'll go, it's more of a physical, and Kundalini Yoga is also physical, but it's also really doing a lot of breath work. And you're also moving the body. And many of there's many postures in Kundalini Yoga that are very similar to other yogas. But we're breathing through the exercises, and that moves energy. And I love the saying that says, your issues are in your tissues. <laughs> we really do hold a lot of our emotions in our body. And I love a book that I read many years ago, Buried Feelings Never Die. We hold emotions in our body and our muscles and our tissues, our issues, our or our organs and Kundalini just comes along and it just shifts things very, very quickly. It transforms how you feel and the physical, emotional, vibrational, mental, you just feel alert. You feel alive. You feel more relaxed. You're, you're actually clearing and healing past deep rooted emotions that maybe have been stuck for many, many years and maybe won't go away with just you know, medicine or psychotherapy. And um, so it's, it's a really powerful healing journey, uh, this, this yoga, and it works on so many, so many levels. I love how it seems like kundalini yoga is really that anchor to keep us connected to the spiritual elements of yoga, because I think it does kind of become lost in in yoga these days there are so many varieties and people shy away with shy away from weaving in the spiritual elements of it and I even sometimes feel like I have to be a little courageous to to weave in the things I feel called to weave into my classes so I love this just how anchored it is to that and then connecting our physical body and the science behind it it's so beautiful so thank you for sharing that and I'd love to hear what you know some of the feedback you've been receiving from students Wow, well, I, the feedback I've gotten from a lot of students, um, I would say probably every week, I, I definitely for sure every week I get someone, several people saying, thank you so much, this has changed my life. And those people who have had depression, anxiety, there's been people who have been very suicidal. There was a, a student that came to my class that I didn't know at the time that she was suicidal. I, I kind of sensed that she had was going through something very deep. And uh, she said, I saw her a year later and she told me that that class saved her life. And she was just, she tried it as a last resort because someone saw that she was so depressed and said, Hey, you know what? I heard about this Kundalini yoga class in town. Maybe you should try it and see how you feel. So she came and she said one class was enough to kind of shift how her energy and how she was feeling. And she, the next day she enrolled in a CrossFit gym and she's just been eating healthy and kind of just started, everything just started to change in her life. But I hear a lot, anxiety is minimized, depression, um, nervousness, sluggishness, feeling stuck or feeling lost. The, the common one that I hear is people who have been very depressed I've had a lot of anxiety, and I remember my sister saw a change in me very quickly after I started doing Kundalini Yoga, and she said, what are you doing? You look so peaceful, and I had depression. I had anxiety, so uh, she was you know, enthralled and said, hey, take me to your class, and, I, and she came, and now she she loved it so much, she became a, also a Kundalini Yoga teacher, but it just changes you and I also had a lot of people don't know this about me is I had a, a severe hormonal imbalance and that 
Kundalini yoga works on your circulatory system, on your glandular system, the endocrine system. So I just kind of got things flowing without seeing a doctor. I actually felt a lot, a lot better. So it does so many things on so many physical and emotional, you know, and mental. Oh. Yeah, I love it. Let's definitely keep talking about this. I want to dive in a little bit more. Uh, Stick around, everyone. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Author, radio show host, and coach, John M. Hawkins, reveals strategies to help gain perspective, build confidence, find clarity, achieve goals. John M. Hawkins' new book, Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them, rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. French Rastafarian baker Chef Ugmat is a fourth-generation baker and has worked in 11 countries across three continents. Born in Mulhouse, France, he began apprenticing in his father's bakery at age 12 and has devoted his life to learning cultures of the world from inside kitchens across the globe. He also teaches traditional French baking by hosting demonstrations and classes, and his passion for baking is reflected in his delicious confections. With a deep respect for discipline and his Rastafarian way of life, Sheikh Uvmat exemplifies commitment to tradition and culture in a global world. Traveling extensively and combining a myriad of flavors into his recipes, Chef Ugmat brings a unique approach to baking. To read more about the French Rastafarian baker, visit www.frenchchefoug.com. That's H-U-G-U-E-S. Bon appétit and bless up. Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. You're listening to Evolve Wellness, and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. And we're here with our guest, Param Dayal Kar. And we're talking about Kundalini Yoga and the benefits of it. And we're just talking about how it can be really, really helpful with hormonal imbalances. And so can you tell us just a little bit more about that? Because I think it um, maybe it's just, you know, the age I'm at right now, but I know women that are struggling through this right now. And, and this sounds like a, a beautiful way to support that. Absolutely. Yes. I, I know from my own experience, having had a hormonal imbalance for many years and seeing so many doctors, I mean, I traveled very far and they, doctors always said the same thing emotional, emotional challenges, like deep emotional, whatever is blocked and emotionally can not only hormones, but it affects thyroid and it affects other parts of the body from stress. And um, so it's kind of getting, starting to get to, to the, when you start to heal the emotions, your, your body starts to heal. And the endocrine glands produce, they like are endocrine system or hormonal system, they Endocrine glands produce hormones that help the, the body function optimally. And Kundalini Yoga, the man who brought Kundalini Yoga here from India, Yogi Bhajan, would say the glands are the guardians of our health. The glands work with the nervous system and the endocrine system, the chakra system, other glands and, and the organs. Our pituitary glands, you know, and oftentimes in my classes I'll tell people, look between the eyebrows. Now, there's a space between the eyebrows, also known as your um, third eye in, in yoga is um, known as the master gland. It controls your entire glandular system. Your um, it also you know, that that glandular system includes your thyroid, the parathyroid, your adrenals, the pancreas, the reproductive glands, and that um, the pituitary gland is located underneath the hypothalamus in the center of the brain, and it's like a little size of a bean. And what it does, it just basically secretes hormones and it helps um, blood pressure, digestion, protein synthesis. Um, it, 
when you're looking there between the eyebrows, it stimulates that pituitary gland. So everything starts to work. So now you're you're working on the pituitary gland and the, the glands and the Kundalini Yoga, you're working on the glands. It's a very glandular nervous system um, kind of yoga. So it, it goes in deep. So you're doing movements and you're breathing and you're moving the energy and you're using the pranayam, the breath, life force energy and breath to stimulate these glands and they just start working together. Just things start to flow and support each other. Other functions of the body start coming together. So the healing starts to occur and the hormones start to secrete and you start to feel that that lethargy, that exhaustion, the depression that comes from a hormonal imbalance and you just feel like, ugh, nothing can feel, make you feel better. But the breath and exercise, does it makes you feel better so you just feel more vitality and you feel more alert your, your brain that that exhaustion brain fog starts to lift because you're doing the healing from the inside out and anything you take on the outside it's a beautiful support and a beautiful bonus but uh, one of the kundalini yoga teachers that i have she i mean excuse me one of the students that i come she comes to my classes uh, adrian guerra she uh, is an expert on hormonal imbalances and she has shared that kundalini yoga just coming to my classes she can already feel the difference in her body and the energy that she feels and you just you just feel it makes you look younger also but you just feel you're just flowing and you just feel brighter and lighter like a light bulb went off on your head and you just start to feel you know that emotional stuckness starts to lift and everything just starts to feel better it, it really is healing for me it really healed and I had taken a lot of supplements and um, the horm- uh, false the bioidentical hormones I was taking those for and they got very expensive I had to stop but um when yoga really helped and now if I decide to take hormones if I wanted to that could be just a bonus but I just rely on Kundalini yoga to help me feel better I love it and as when I was introducing you in your bio, you talk about using Kundalini yoga for children to support them with autism, anxiety, and depression. And so what has been the feedback from, from children and their parents getting to this, you know, having this tool? Well, the, the feedback that I get from the kids, first of all, is they feel really peaceful. And they just feel better about themselves. They have more self-confidence. They have you know, more self-esteem. I actually tell the students in class just to also help them pay more attention sometimes to share this with their parents, share the exercises with their parents. And the parents will give me feedback. Oh, my children, my six-year-old, my five-year-old is teaching me how to meditate. So it just, they just feel better about themselves and it's, one of the perks that the, I teach at a Montessori school, and I teach in different schools also, but my main school is in a Montessori school. And the feedback is just that kids just, my class is probably the favorite because they learn stillness and they learn peace. And like every adult that I've ever taught to, I would just say probably 99% of adults will tell me the same thing. If only I had done this when I was younger, how it would change my life. So now these kids are so young and they're learning stillness. They're learning, you know, to, to no matter what is happening around you, whatever chaos or negativity that is happening around you, the resources are within the peace is not, you're not getting it from the outside. You're going and getting it from the inside and that will support you in that peace that we connect to within. And when people are around a peaceful person, whatever is going on in their life, it actually feel more at peace because they, you know, kind of like our light shines light in others, you know, that peace, that so like that, that experience, that, that saying from Gandhi, be the peace you want to see in the world, start first within, and then you can really make a difference from the outside. So yeah. that's the, the, the biggest feedback I get from kids is they feel peace. 
I love it. That's so powerful. And I mean, and kids are so honest. So, you know, you got real feedback (laughs) from them and, and just imagine the adults that they will become with these tools. It's so powerful. So I definitely want my daughter to get to practice with you. (laughs) Um, So absolutely. I can't wait. (laughs) I love it. So everyone, please stick around. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Have you ever wondered why some children recover from their symptoms of autism while others never seem to get any better? After 13 years of research, Karen Thomas has recovered her own son from his symptoms of autism naturally. She now shares how she did it with you in her free webinar so that you can have the right resources and knowledge to help your child. The definition of recovery is to regain health. Karen offers this to you in four stages. Healing the gut, natural heavy metal detoxification, balancing the co-infections of autism, brain support, and repair. Register now for this free webinar to help you know what you can do to help your child to sleep better, be more calm, improve focus, and reach their fullest potential to live a happy, healthy life. Go to naturallyrecoveringautism.com forward slash free workshop empowering parents with the resources to naturally recover autism from a mom who's done it mike zorick a three-time california state champion in greco roman wrestling at 114 pounds mike blind since birth was born in hartford connecticut he was a six-time national placer including two seconds two-thirds and two-fourths he also won the veterans folk style wrestling twice at 152 pounds. In all these tournaments, he was the only blind competitor. Nancy Zorick, a creative spirit whose talents have taken her to the stage and into galleries and exhibitions in several states. Her father, a commercial artist who shared his instruments with his daughter and helped her fine-tune her natural abilities, influenced her decision to follow in his footsteps. Ms. Zorick has enjoyed a fruitful career doing what she loves. Listen Saturday mornings at 12 Eastern for The Nancy and Mike Show for heartwarming stories and interesting talk on the B. BBM Global Network. Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. You're listening to Evolve Wellness, and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and we're here with our lovely guest, Param Dayal Kar, and we're talking about just the benefits of Kundalini Yoga and her work with children. And I wanted to ask, you know, who else could really benefit from Kundalini Yoga? And is this something that would be supportive for people who are coming off of addiction? Absolutely. There's, um, you know, Kundalini yoga is for everyone and um, at any age. And it's not, it's, it's uh, there's like something it's called, um, it's not, you know, some people are afraid to do yoga because they're afraid of those poses that are so intense, like the, called the, like the pretzel yoga. And this one is, it really is for everyone. It's, um, any any challenge that you're faced with, even if you're, you have very little mobility, you can actually do kundalini yoga and just do the meditations and or the mantras and some minimal movements. And there's the benefits are just it's just you know for, it's just really unlimited for anyone. And for addictions, it's really really wonderful um, for any kind of um, eating disorder or drinking, drug, smoking. Um, anything that's like, um, you know, it's just those uh, patterns, like neurotic behavioral pattern, patterns, and it helps to regulate the, the gland, as we talked about, like the glandular system and the entire body that's out of balance and the mind that feels out of balance, everything she starts to come into balance. So, for example, um, there's been many, 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 many ca- um, cases of people who have been um, hooked on marijuana or smoking cigarettes and will come to Kundalini Yoga and will act or will actually stop taking the drugs because you're getting a natural high. And you, when you oxygenate your body, when you, you know, there, there's uh, around the world, there's these, it's kind of like this new trend that's happening as you can go into a spa and they put oxygen on you so you can kind of get feel oxygenated you can feel better. And in Kundalini Yoga, we're oxygenating you. You're really breathing. 
And there's a saying in Kundun Yoga, so the breath, so the mind. How we breathe determines how we feel. So if you're breathing shallow, it's, it's very easy to just feel depleted and kind of tired. When you oxygenate, you know, there's just so many, so many different breathing exercises in Kundun Yoga. You just to feel, feel better. And lots of times when we're, you know, people have patterns like um, smoking cigarettes or they, they just can't stop. It's just your Kundalini Yoga just interrupts those patterns. It actually helps to change those patterns with the breath work and with the meditations. So um, addictions kind of just go out the window. And it, it's very, very powerful. There is a psychologist, a psychiatrist in who's a uh, Kundalini Yoga teacher who wrote a book called Sacred Therapies for all sorts of addictions and deep, deep, deep um, neurological disorders that healing can happen from within the body. And it is proven in science, scientifically, that these exercises really work. And there's something called uh, Kirtan Kriya, K-I-R-T-A-N Kriya, um, K-R-I-Y-A, that it's used for the American Foundation for Alzheimer's and Dementia, that it can many times prevent uh, Alzheimer's and dementia. And there's these exercises that you're just chanting a mantra, uh, sound vibration, and you're moving your fingers a certain way. And on our fingertips, we have nerve endings. And those nerve endings connect to different nerves in the brain and connect to thousands of nerves in the body. So it's creating a psychological shift, a change, a mental change and a physical change in the body. So imbalances can be healed and regulated, and it really can help to correct many challenges, many dependencies and phobic and um, just um, addiction. What about somebody's experiencing more of like a neurological thing, like um, um I'm I'm losing it the the name of the the illness but um you know like muscular dystrophy or Parkinson's is what I was thinking um could somebody would that benefit them is there any research on that Absolutely there is and I've had students that have come with limited mobility that can and they'll tell me beforehand you know I I'm, I'm dealing with this Parkinson's and and the nervous system, lack of um, being able to move the body voluntarily. And it will really, really help because you're, you're working, kind of yoga, you're working muscles that we normally don't use. For example, I'll, I'll have uh, CrossFit athletes or bodybuilders even that will come and do a, a class and they, they're, you, they're so used to working certain muscles and, and getting the body in a certain way to look a certain way or, um, to develop in a certain way, but there's also many, many muscles that we're not using, and Kundalini Yoga oftentimes will use those muscles, and you build up, it's like a strength that you build up from within. It's also the central nervous system, you know, we're talking about that vagus nerve that's at the base of your head that works along, it goes along your spinal cord with, with your endocrine glands, and yeah, you're just creating um kind of a balance from within and that's the the feedback that I've gotten from from students that have like that kind of like a like paralysis. I've also had a another uh, Kundalini Yoga student who is um was a very powerful man, very active in his life and had a, a stroke and he's been doing and very hard to find his balance, very hard to walk. Um, very walking very slow with a lot of caution um, because of loss of balance and has now expressed like how we're doing the meditations actually changes is actually making him feel more grounded more centered more aligned it actually improves your posture that you're working on again that nervous system you're feeling more balanced from the inside out and it just strengthens everything in the body even if you feel like you can barely do anything at the exercise, you can barely move, you're still going to have tremendous benefits. And so it's, it's um, anyone who feels any mo- in it, you know, lack of mobility. I've had students that have had hip surgery can barely move 
will come to my class and and slowly but surely they'll start to regain that strength and then the balance and they just start to feel better a lot of pain in the body will start to go away I love that. And I, I think about how the breath supports us. Even in our practice, I I think about the visualization of it stretching us even from the inside out, the importance of the breath. So I love just all of this. This is wonderful. Everyone, please stick around. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Are you looking for employment and live in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties? Jobs Annex is the place for you. Are you an employer looking to fill a position or quite a few positions in Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties. Jobs Annex is for you. Employers, JobsAnnex.com is your resource for career-minded people. JobsAnnex.com is the convenient place for job seekers and employers to hook up and move forward. Jobs Annex has been serving Los Angeles, Orange, Riverside, and San Bernardino counties for over 14 years. Jobs Annex is a former employment search firm. We've evaluated many thousands of resumes and we understand what employers want and what job applicants need to be successful in their interviews. At Jobs Annex, we provide you with the tools to tell your story for free. Our resources at jobsannex.com will help each applicant construct an award-winning resume, an eye-catching cover letter, and key interview questions to ask in various types of interviews. Best of all, it's free. jobsannex.com. That's J-O-B-S-A-N-N-E-X.com. WikiWags brings harmony back into your home for male dogs and their owners. Inventor and entrepreneur Linda Jangula has created the disposable doggy diaper wraps made with the male dog in mind. The built-in wicking ability prevents rashing and other potential health issues for your dog. Each wrap comes in four sizes and has dual reattachable magic tabs for easy adjustments. And each size has a 7-inch logo strip for adjustability. So they are comfortable and easy to use. No more fuss, just leave the mess to us. Whether you're in or out, your dog will be free to run about. Stop cleaning and start enjoying your home, and you can even leave your dog alone. To order your WikiWags, visit WikiWags.com, or to find out where to buy WikiWags in your town, visit MyWikiWags.com and start enjoying having man's best friend around. Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio, and we're here with our guest, Param Dayal Kar, and we're talking about kundalini yoga and the immense benefits of it. There's so many things that it can help support the body with. And one of the things and it's that I've never actually experienced, but I know that you offer them and it's a gong bath. And so I'm curious, what is a gong bath and what are the benefits? Yes. And in kundalini yoga, many kundalini yoga classes will have a gong bath after um, after meditation, like after you've rested for about 10 minutes on your back, they'll um, have a nice gong bath. Um, it's just a, a, it's very powerful. Lots of students love it. It's one of my favorite parts of going to a, a gong, I mean, to a yoga class to have that gong. It just brings healing and integration of our body, mind, and soul. The, the sound of the gong is so powerful. It's a healing sound. And it, The sounds are a combination of overtones and undertones, and it creates deep relaxation, and it it frees us from kind of the flood of the the thoughts, the negative mind, the monkey mind, and it releases and it stimulates the glandular system to a higher level of functioning. It affects your your physical nervous system, and it's not just hearing it. You're actually feeling the sensations of it on your skin. People feel like waves going through the body. It vibrates the energy meridians in the body, and it just brings them into balance. And also, um, it just kind of travels through. You can feel it all the way up your body. Sometimes people feel like they, they'll go into a very deep, deep sleep. Like you can sleep for just maybe even 10 minutes in a gong bath, and it's like almost as much as a deeper sleep than eight hours because you're going so, so deep. And in the sound, you know, the sound vibration, it cleanses. It, it cleanses. It's also known as cleansing for the subconscious mind. On an emotional level, it's very transformative. Transformative. It reduces tension. It releases blocks, and it stimulates 
circulation in the body. Another thing that it does is is the the result of a gong bath. It's the reorganization of our emotional energy and our feelings that you know are tied into the body structure. So it changes feelings and that are blocked, you know, and it just recreates feelings of bliss and calm and it just kind of like you feel just so relaxed and guided and it's known as a bath like you've been bathed in the sound vibration and it's just so powerful and it just every time I for me I just I love it and it just will take you very very deep it's also known it can go very deep into our DNA and shift the energy that's how powerful it is so it's there's just so many benefits to gong bath. So it's like just a, a few that I shared of how healing it is and how transformative it is. So I, it's, love it's, it. uh, I would highly recommend it to anyone to, to find a Kundalini yoga class that has a gong bath because it's just, it's something out of this world. It will actually take you into a, a healing, healing journey deep within and very pe- lots of peacefulness and relaxation. I love it. It seems like a really powerful tool if you're, you know, you're in, you're kind of stuck in a state of mind that feels kind of contracted. And um, I, I talk about this in coaching, just different tools that we can utilize to change our state, our state of mind and, and shift our energy and, and up level our vibration or change our frequency. And this is like literally changing your frequency <laughs> of your of your body. And um, I love that. And what an amazing tool. You know, I play it like music and dance around to to change my state sometimes but I certainly want to try this as well Uh, and so if somebody is wanting to find you about you know what classes you're doing what workshops you're offering or more about kundalini yoga how can they find more about found find out more about you and what you offer so uh, if they want to get in touch with me or have questions, you can find me on Facebook. I'm Kundalini Yoga El Paso. And um, I also have my personal Kundalini Yoga, um, excuse me, Facebook page is my name, Param De Alcar. And you can find me on Instagram at Kundalini Yoga EP, just one word. And uh, if you wanted to reach out to me, you can, my cell is 954-708-4. 035. So you can reach out to me there. If you want to know more about Kundalini Yoga in general, there's something called Spirit Voyage. It's a website, so it's spiritvoyage.com. Or you can go to 3ho.org, and that's an organ. these are organizations that were started by Yogi Bhajan who brought Kundalini Yoga to the West, you know, to, to the United States and to Europe, around the world, from India. And you can just read about it. There's something about Kundalini Yoga and there's Kundalini. So make sure you look up Kundalini Yoga and you'll find just there's so much information out there on the internet about it. And then of course if you have questions I'd love to I love I love answering questions and love guiding people through whatever is gonna support them to healing. So I did a little research on on Kundalini just out of curiosity even and and it means coiled serpent right and it's the like the base of the spine the root chakra and it represents the untapped or untapped potential is that right Yes Awesome I love it yeah. and the, yeah the at the base of the spine you know there's a powerful in the in our sacrum bone there's a powerful energy it's known one word is known as life force energy it's also known as kundalini energy you wake up that you're kind of coiled it's like it coiled like a snake it coils like a curled up energy when you wake it up it just starts to go up the spine and it starts to really heal everything that is kind of like stuck in the body and that everything that needs healing and um, and it's and Kundalini, there's a, many people try to raise that energy for different reasons, and it's called like a Kundalini awakening. And yet, in Kundalini yoga, we're raising that energy through your consciousness, through your soul, through your spirit. So, it's that's why it's called called a Kundalini yoga, is known as a yoga of awareness. You become aware 
kind of become more open. Oh, that's so beautiful. Thank you for clarifying and, and offering that. And everyone, please stick around. Uh, we're going to be wrapping everything up shortly. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're coming to you live from the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. For over 50 years, Evelyn Stapula has been a loving advocate for people with disabilities throughout the state of Pennsylvania. President and founder of Big Heart Bridges, her organization actively campaigns for legislation and support of civil liberties that meet the needs of disabled individuals with housing, transportation, and employment. Ms. Dupula has joined forces with a variety of esteemed organizations that advocate for the disabled. She serves on the board of the United Cerebral Palsy of Pittsburgh and the Governor's Cabinet and Advisory Committee for People with Disabilities, and she is a consultant for the Pennsylvania Governor's Conference for Women. Her many efforts have led to the implementation of a transportation program for the disabled with the Access Paratransit System of Allegheny County. Evelyn Stapoulis drives daily to serve the interests of the disabled, to protect their freedoms, and enable them to live normal public lifestyles. To learn more, please call 412-491-2605 or email Evelyn at ers92645 at verizon.net. Introducing BetterHomeAndGarden.com. That's www.betterhomeandgarden.com with just the letter N in Better Home and Garden. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the highest quality products on the market that are environmentally safe and effective and to make them available to you at the lowest possible prices. Betterhomeandgarden.com understands that kind of creativity and do-it-yourself attitude. Thus, we developed our website, betterhomeandgarden.com. Betterhomeandgarden.com offers you the following products right online. Bath, bedding, collectibles, craft, sewing and hobby, food and beverage, furniture, home decor, kitchen and dining, lamps and lighting, large appliances, musical instruments, outdoor cooking, patio items, pet supplies, plant and garden, rug and floor covering, small appliances, travel and luggage, and so much more. Better Home and Garden is an online retailer offering a wide variety of high-quality brand name merchandise at discount prices. Our service is personal and we aim to please. Visit us at www.betterhomeandgarden.com. Make your home your own. Welcome back. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is Evolve Wellness, and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We're here with our guest, Param Dayal Kar, and we thank you so much for taking us on this beautiful journey of what Kundalini Yoga is and how it can support us and and really support anybody. And I know that you've had such a beautiful transformative journey and so are there any other like tools or resources or things that you'd like to add before we wrap it up sure yes there, there's a, a book if people want to know more about kundalini yoga um there is a, a book that's really fun to read it's a uh, uh, written by a couple of people that are physicians and it's called kundalini yoga the flow of eternal power I mean, there's just so many books that I can share, so many resources, and it's just, it will kind of explain to you why Kundalini Yoga strengthens the nervous system, the help balances your glandular system, how it supports the energy of your mind, emotions. So everything that we talked about, and especially like diet and how, how it can support you. Something that I wanted to share with everyone is on, on my journey, having had a a father who was very depressed and who ultimately um, you know, took his life. That's why I'm so passionate about this. And I don't share that with a lot of people, but I'm passionate about healing and anything that you can do that supports you, you know, just get out there and, 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 you know, just try, even if you're not sure. And Kundalini yoga seems very weird. You know, we wear white clothes and it's um, on the outside looking in, it kind of looks strange. But I really encourage anyone that's listening that's just kind of feeling stuck to just kind of get past whatever the outside of Kundalini Yoga looks like and just try it because it is life-changing and um, it will change your life very quickly. Whatever is going on on the outside of our life is a reflection of what's going on within you. So if you're triggered about a lot of things and people are triggering you, if you work on your yourself from within, you'll notice that the things that trigger you in life will trigger you, trigger you a lot less. And um, so just, um, I would suggest, you know, even if it's, if you go to a Kundalini Yoga class and you don't like it, just maybe wait a week and try it again. 
with another <laughs> teacher and yeah and uh, yeah so just kind of go open with an open mind I also wanted to share something about um, Alicia Keys you know who's a famous uh, artist the reason she stopped wearing makeup was because she started taking kundalini yoga at Rama Institute in LA with her kundalini yoga teacher and she said it was the first time she learned she felt inner beauty and this is a woman who is world famous and very wealthy and very talented and and wasn't connecting to inner beauty until she connected to kundalini yoga that's why she's not wearing makeup anymore and that's why she's trying to help people women claim their inner beauty not through makeup and not from the outside from the inside out through love inner love it's so wonderful and I, no, we certainly need more of that in this world and that encouragement around it and you know in and in coaching, um, going back a little bit about the triggering, you know, we say that things come up for repatterning and we can't repattern it unless it comes up. And so having a way to support that and like yoga, especially, and it sounds like Kundalini yoga in particular can be immensely supportive and it's not re-traumatizing where we don't have to talk about everything over and over. So I love the idea of being healed on the mat, like leaving it all on the mat. I think it's just so beautiful. Thank you so, so much for being here. You're welcome. Something I wanted to share with you is something that we say in Kundalini Yoga, what you do on the mat, you do in life. So you said it perf- perfectly. You can, we, we heal it on the mat. We leave it there. So life Aww. will flow. Aw, Satnam. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for being here. I'm your host, Dr. Nikki Herrings. This is your, this is Evolve Wellness, and we're on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. We'll see you next week. You've been listening to Evolve Wellness with host Dr. Nikki Herrings. Listen each week as Dr. Nikki shares learnings from her own health challenges and interviews leaders making profound positive changes in their lives and communities right here on Dr. Nikki's Evolve Wellness. You've been listening to the BBM Global Network. The ideas, views, and opinions of this broadcast are those of the participants of the program and are not necessarily the ideas, views, and opinions of the BBM Global Network Company.